All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing the good news this morning. That's the awesome thing about good news. It's refreshing, whether on a hot summer day or heart and it's heartwarming on a cold winter's day because it's heavenly news that we all can use that transcends the circumstance, the situation, environment in which we find ourselves at any given time because we realize and know this. The good news is that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And, you know, that's why we're declaring the good news about Jesus, the life-changing power of the gospel is what we're talking about. And that that power that comes to us, produces and provides for us salvation, empowerment by God to live the life that he purposed and intended for us from the start. And it comes as we rest our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, how do I do that? We must hear about him, hear his message, hear his life. Here's what the apostle John writes in John chapter one, that in him was life and that life is the light of men. You know what that means? The sum total of what Jesus said, what he taught, how he lived, how he loved, how he was merciful and compassionate, how he destroyed yokes, removed burdens, healed the sick, uh, caused the lame to walk, gave, gave sight to the blind, fed the hungry. In all these things, he was showing us life and the God kind of life and revealing God himself to us, which is good news to us because whatever we heard him say saw and uh, preach and teach, whatever we saw him do, he was sending a message to us eternally of who God is and what he's like and what we can expect of him. Here's what the writer of Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter one. He says, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners, that's the King James English, it simply mean at various times and in different ways in times past spoken to us by the prophets has in these last times spoken unto us by his son, uh, whom he has appointed to be the heir of all things. Well, friend, when Jesus said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me, you know, what he was declaring to us, as I was talking yesterday, how Peter calls the elect or the elect of God, that uh, what he was saying was that God has appointed and assigned me to represent and to advocate for all mankind. This is my assignment. This is delegated and given to me by my father. He said in certain place, he said, the father has given me power that I should lay my life down and I should take it up again. And that I should also give this same power and exercise it in all those who come to me. And that's why he did what he did. He was authorized by God to do it. So whenever we call him Jesus Christ, Christ is not his last name. What we're saying is Jesus, the anointed one by God who carried the anointing to finish God's work on our behalf, reconcile us back to him, and then to empower us to be those who fulfill God's purpose in this world. I know that was a mouthful, but simply that he came to represent us in every way. See, that's the life-changing power of the good news of Jesus Christ. That is not just for eternity, it's right here in time. I say this often for emphasis. If it was all about simply going to heaven one day, why wouldn't we, as soon as we realized and heard the good news about Christ and believed on him, why would we just not go on to heaven now? Well, you said, well, we need to get ready for heaven. No, you as ready as you ever be spiritually when you are born again. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, any man, woman, boy, girl who is in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things have become new and all things of God. 
but he gives us an understanding in the text that we having been reconciled now are carriers of the word of reconciliation. We become ambassadors for Christ as God intended it from the beginning. Did you know you were put on heaven to be an ambassador, a representative of God, uh, to colonize the earth with the culture of the kingdom of heaven itself? Yes, friend, you're not a lightweight in this world. You're not inconsequential and insignificant. No, you're made in the image and likeness of God. And you have been put here to be a steward over the works of his hands to regulate what's going on in this world. Not apart from him, but through him and because of him. Because like Jesus came into this world anointed, you too are anointed as you rest your faith in Christ to carry on the works of our Lord Jesus. Here's what he said, St. John chapter 14, verse 12. Every single person who believes on me, the works that I do, they will do also. And they'll do even greater works because my time is up. You got longer than I have. Hey, friend, that's our charge. That's our call to live the life that he planned and purposed, but then also to be life givers in this world. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. But the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Knowing this, together you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. Two quick plugs. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 5650 Sanderson Street Northwest. Connected Grace is together with all the women of Huntsville for Bloom. You want to be there. It'll be a blessing to you. Also at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time for men. Men of Integrity with Brother Danny Barnes is meeting at the Bob Harrison Center up on North Pulaski Pike just east and northeast of the intersection of Madison, uh, uh, Winchester and Pulaski Pike Road. I believe it'll be a blessing to you. Hey, make it, make yourself too and uh, avail yourselves of those opportunities. That's good news on this fabulous Friday morning, Pete. Yeah, well, ice cream day has it uh, in some cases. Uh, <laughs> Anything that'll beat this heat, man. Yes, sir. Keep on doing what you're doing. You're still keeping us in the house with peeve and uh, with encouraging words and good gospel music. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. You got a deal, Pastor. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, you. All right. Well, hey, listen, y'all. Uh, again, those two opportunities that I spoke of, my wife, Ramona, she leads uh, Connected Grace to some awesome women of God. Uh, who come together to refresh, reflect, and renew in the things of God. And uh, they're in person today, tomorrow, at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 5650 Sanderson Street Northwest. And that's right here in Huntsville, 35805. You can check out uh, check us out at Connected Church on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Uh, we've got more information streaming about that event. Uh, you can reach out uh, at info at connected dash church, uh, info at connected dash church, info at connected dash church dot com by email. Call us at 256-542-8511 if you'd like to get more information about that bloom. Bloom. It's your time to bloom, ladies and all that what God has put in you. And they're going to be together man, writing vision boards. And uh, it's important to write the vision down for your life because when it's an idea when it's in your head, when you put it on paper, uh, that's an opportunity and a step towards uh, bringing it to fruition. And then again, men of integrity, an outstanding ministry for men and boys, uh, uh, 
fellas of all age. And uh, that's at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow morning as well at the Bob Harrison Center, just north and east of the intersection of uh, Winchester and Pulaski Roads in North Huntsville. You're going north on Pulaski, and you pass that intersection, about a three quarter of a mile, you'll see the sign on your left. And uh, it's an outstanding facility, and I believe it'll be a blessing to you. A lean, becoming a lean Sig, Sig Sigma man. Uh, Pastor Johnny Wilson is gonna be sharing about that, and uh, you'll wanna be there. And Lord willing, I'll be there to, to be a part of uh, that fellowship for men. All right. Remember this always. God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. You do have a fabulous Friday on purpose. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.